Hi there, I'm Mike, AKA Packet Boy. Now, if you've spent any time in IT circles, you've probably heard buzzwords like active monitoring, proactive monitoring, and synthetic monitoring. But what does all of that mean? You got a few minutes? Let's break it down. Let's face it, business depends on peak performance. That means that you can't wait until your monitoring tools detect a problem. By that time, your users are already suffering. You need to be able to anticipate problems that expose vulnerabilities before they have a chance to impact your end users. Because of that, many companies are supplementing the traditional network monitoring tools with an active monitoring solution that helps them be more proactive. So how does active monitoring work? Let's break it down. Now, where traditional monitoring tools rely on actual live traffic data, which is also referred to sometimes as passive data, active monitoring tools generate synthetic application traffic, inject it into your network, and then capture key performance indicators of how it's performing. Running simulations like this lets you observe how your network performs under various conditions and note where performance doesn't meet expectations. The process is active because you control the type and mix of applications and the volume of traffic in each simulation. The cool thing here is that, since you aren't dependent on live traffic, you can anticipate performance problems and test the impact of potential fixes before they have a chance to impact your end users. Ergo, you move from being passive and reactive to being more proactive as a whole. Since you don't have to wait for live traffic to measure things like response time, quality, or latency, active monitoring is excellent for assessing network readiness before you deploy things like SD-WAN, distributed unified communications, cloud applications, or voice and video services like Skype for Business. Moreover, most industry-leading tools offer a library of application signatures, which enables you to then build super accurate tests with the exact type of traffic you expect while varying up the volume to model changes in demand. A flexible monitoring platform lets you simulate traffic from a variety of endpoints across your distributed network. That way you can measure performance in a wide range of operating scenarios. This means you can validate node-to-node -node connections in a distributed network, validate end-user experience using cloud-based applications, or ensure adequate performance of your SD-WAN deployment. Active monitoring gives you deep insight into your network by measuring key performance indicators such as packet loss, jitter, delay, response time, and traffic-specific factors such as mean opinion score, among others. Granted, these details are only as good as the way that they're presented, which is why leading platforms display these critical metrics in a highly visual, real-time dashboard. That all sounds pretty great, right? But some active monitoring platforms actually take it a step further by employing machine learning to help you identify outliers based on either your own predefined thresholds or industry data. And with clearly labeled pass-fail results, it's easy to cut through the clutter and prioritize your follow-up. In addition to pre-deployment and live network assessments, you can also use continuous active monitoring to proactively maintain quality of service. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you run the same simulation every single day and track the results over time, you can quickly identify deviations from the norm, which gives you an early indication of when performance falls below your minimum service levels. Just imagine being able to resolve issues before they ever impact your live users. With active monitoring, it ain't just a fever dream, it's easy. And when it comes to troubleshooting, active monitoring can help you there as well. In fact, some platforms even go so far as providing you with a diagram of the actual path network packets take throughout your network. But what does that mean? Well, with the complexity of today's networks, the actual path traffic takes through your network may differ substantially from what you actually think. Path discovery essentially acts as a better version of traceroute, enabling faster, more accurate troubleshooting. But all of that notwithstanding, the bottom line here is this. Network performance is more critical than ever, and for operations teams that need a flexible, cost-efficient platform to maintain quality of service and prevent performance problems, active monitoring is more than worth your investment. So, if you're interested in learning a little bit more, be sure to check out a couple of our white papers. Five Ways to Improve Network Performance with Active Monitoring, as well as the Essential Guide to Active Monitoring, the Business Value of Being Proactive. Thanks so much. This is Packet Boy signing off.